Hello everyone, welcome to my third video about my tool database application generator. Today I'm gonna showcase you my work in progress of, uh, uh, of my generator that outputs Flutter code. Flutter is a cross-platform framework for creating applications for Android and uh, iOS for iPhones and uh, in past month they released a uh, version 1.0 of it and uh, I also uh, saw that there are versions uh, for creating web version of of the of the code without without a lot of uh, code changes and there is also a desktop port of it, uh, so in the future it probably uh, will make cross-platform development easier, probably. We will we'll see about that, but for now I'm gonna show you how to uh, get started on Android. So I'll close my Hello World app. And I'm going to start a new footer project. I'll click next and with name Hello World. I, I need to point to my footer SDK and Hello World. Next, next page. So I'll I'll run the sample code. It is always a good idea in every stable state of an application development to run it and to see if everything is working. Oh, here it is, the hello world code. I'm gonna minimize it and I'm gonna use uh, a previous or probably uh, no I'll probably create a new one. Uh, a requirement for footer is to have the name same as uh, the directory that is entered here. So I'm gonna add a database and a footer. Footer platform. Uh, the required directory is the lib1. Here it will be generated the code for creating and editing your models. I will type in uh, the packages, Dale, REST, and UI. I'm gonna add simple table with uh, text with ID, name, and some number, for example, H. So I'm gonna save it, save it, and generate. The dependencies are yet not uh, integrated into what is uh, the my tool doesn't overwrite anything uh, in footer yet anything in the configuration at least and I'm gonna copy paste these dependencies to the configuration file and I'm gonna get the packages and if everything goes okay 
these dependencies will be resolved. Uh, something that uh, is currently very work in progress is the REST ver version of uh, Flutter code generation. So I'm going to delete it for now. And it has uh, a code for, gen uh, for editing these records that I recently entered. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to change the widget that is returned from the main file. I'm gonna comment this hello world code and I'm gonna return a new test list. Uh, so in that there is no need for new and I'm gonna import it and I'm gonna run this this code. Sure. Yeah, I need to open it again. And here it is. Uh, UI for creating a, and editing the model that I just created. One, test, three, and save. Well, I'm not sure. I didn't save. Let me see. Oh, it didn't get the dot comma. So one. Test three. Let me see what was the problem here. Dependencies, maybe it needs this dependencies in the dev dependencies also no no package update open update and I'll stop it and run it again It probably didn't didn't reload good enough. Thanks. And you can see right now that uh, it uh, it displays as label the GID. This could be changed. And I'm gonna update it. From the test I did it on out test I can get a container. What in button? This is the body that is Check list view with list item. That is what I need to change the list item with new text, but with the name as 
value for the text. So here it is. B, B, B. So Footer code generation is still in very early development, but it has a lot of potential to create native, very fast, close to native applications. So you could uh, write me back and uh, give me any feedback that you like, and so I could improve it and work more on this or, or more than on other stuff so it could be it could bring more value to you in the future